In the year 2016, 56 companies have raised more than 10,000 crore from the Indian capital market so far. And all of them have priced their public issue through the book building process. Pricing the share is a very important aspect of an initial public offering or IPO. But why all of these companies have resorted to book building process to price their IPO? Because book building is more democratic form of pricing the IPO because it allows the market to price the IPO. It's a method in which the demand for the shares at different price levels are captured and used for pricing the IPO. And this will lead to efficient price discovery. This method of price determination can avoid some extreme price fluctuations post listing of the IPO. The IPO process will be facilitated by an investment bank who will be playing the role of a lead book running manager. So lead book running manager manages the entire show of IPO and pricing the IPO is just one of the many activities undertaken by the lead book running manager. The first step in a book building process is the determination of a price band. A price band is the lower band and an upper band of a price range within which all the potential bidders has to bid and they have to express their bids with a price which is within this particular price band and the corresponding number of shares they are bidding for and once the bids are closed it is arranged in the descending order based on the price and that's from the highest price to the lowest price along with the corresponding bid the quantity of shares which they have bidded for and this process is called a uh, building the book. The bid stops at a price point where the total number of shares the issuer or the company wants to issue gets fully subscribed. And this price point is called the stop price. The bids below this will be rejected. And to all the successful bidder, shares will be allotted at the stop price. The bids below the stop price will be rejected and if there is any oversubscription at the stop price, shares will be allotted on a pro rata basis. And in this bidding process, you can see that the bid starts at the highest price and keeps going down. And this is quite contrary to the way normally an auction is conducted. In a normal auction process, there will be a floor price and the bidders start bidding high from the floor price. The successful bidder would be the one quoting the highest bid. An auction process which is conducted in this way, that is from the highest price to the lowest price, is called a Dutch auction. Now let's try to understand this particular process with the help of an example. For that, let's uh, consider a company called ABC Limited and they want to raise 200 crore from the market by issuing 90 lakhs uh, equity shares. The price band given by the company and its lead book running manager is between Rs 150 and Rs 250 and post IPO they have listed the price, the, the, the bits which they have received uh, in the descending order, uh, the corresponding price and the quantity they have received, the demand of shares they have received. So at price point 250, they have a total demand of 5 lakh shares. And at price point 245, they have a total demand of 30 lakh shares. At price point 240, the total number of shares demanded is 20 lakh. At price point 235, the total demand for the shares are 50 lakh. At price point 230, the total shares demanded is 40 lakh. And price point 220, the total number of shares demanded is 25 lakh. Here you can see that the company wants to issue totally 90 lakh shares. And you can see that at price point 235, they are getting a total subscription of 1.05 crore, which is more than 90 lakhs, the number of shares the company wants to issue. So the company stops its bid at price point 235 and price point 235 is re referred as a stop price and all the bids which is below this particular stop price will be rejected by the company. All right. Now the company has to issue the shares to the successful bidders but here the company has got a problem. Because the total number of shares they want to issue here is 90 lakhs, but they have at stop price they have got a total subscription of 1.05 crore. So how do you how do they resolve this particular situation? In a situation where 
at price point the company is having over subscription then they will allot the shares to the successful bidders on a pro rata basis which means that they will allow the shares to the successful bidders at the over subscription ratio the over subscription ratio means they have got a total number of shares to be issued 90 lakh and they have got a subscription of 1.05 crore so they will issue the shares at that particular ratio okay so at price point 250 they have got a total demand of 5 lakh shares so 5 lakh multiplied by 90 divided by 100 105 so they will issue 4 lakh 28,571 shares at price point 250 at price point two, uh, 245 the total demand is 30 lakh and the corresponding number of shares to be allotted is 25 lakh 71,429 at price point 240 they have a total demand of 20 lakhs and they will issue 17 lakh 14,286 shares at price point 240 and at price point 235 they have a total uh, demand of 50 lakhs and they will issue 42 lakh 85,714 shares at price point 235 so the total number of shares they will be issuing is 90 lakh so 90 lakhs shares will be issued at a price of 235 to all the successful bidders the rest of the uh, money which is being given by all these uh, uh, individuals all these bidders who have you know uh, bid it at a higher price will be returned to them by the company so at price point 235 and the company issue 90 lakh shares they would be able to garner approximately 211 crore from this particular ipo okay now you have a very successful ipo which has been oversubscribed and you have uh, done the allotments also so please uh, share this particular video uh, like the video and uh, subscribe to the channel as well and you guys have great times ahead